in this video, we're going to take a look at further trig identities. So to begin with here, let's just recall a trig identity from the first year of study, which you're hopefully familiar with. That is sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal or identical to 1. Okay. Now from this identity here, from our first year of study, we can obtain two more trig identities. And they are 1 plus cot squared x. 1 plus cot squared x is identical or equal to cos x squared x. Cos x squared x. And then we also have 1 plus tan squared x. And that is equal or identical to sec squared x. Okay. So from here now, the question is how do we prove these trig identities? So now we're going to take a look at how we prove each one of these trig identities. So what I want to do now is show how we can go from sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to this new identity here. The first thing I'm going to do here is divide through on both sides by sine squared x. In that case here then, we're going to start with sine squared x over sine squared x. We're then going to get cos squared x over sine squared x. And then finally we're going to get 1 over sine squared x. So from here now it's just a matter of simplifying. So sine squared x over sine squared x, that would be 1. That would give me 1 there. We then got cos squared x over sine squared x. Now, Sine squared x over cos squared x would be tan squared x. So if we have the reciprocal of that, we have the reciprocal of tan squared x. In that case, that would be one of our reciprocal trig functions. We're going to get cos squared x there. And then finally, we have another reciprocal trig function here. 1 over sine squared x, that would be cos x squared x. And notice we have our proof complete there. We've got 1 plus cos squared x is equal to to cos x squared x there, okay? That's our first proof there. And now again, if we take a look here with sine squared x plus cos squared x equals one, how do we obtain one plus tan squared x is equal to sec squared x? Now, like we saw for the previous proof here, we divided through by sine squared x. For this one here, pretty similar, we're just gonna divide through now by cos squared x. Again, whatever you do to one side, make sure you do it to the other. In that case here, we're going to get sine squared x over cos squared x. We're then going to get cos squared x over cos squared x. And then finally, we're going to get 1 over cos squared x there. Okay. And again, it's just a matter of simplifying here. So sine squared x over cos squared x. Well, we already mentioned that here when we were doing this proof. That would be tan squared x. We get tan squared x there. Cos squared x over cos squared x. Well, that would be plus 1. And then finally, 1 over cos squared x, another of our reciprocal trig functions here. That's going to be sec squared x. And notice now I can just rewrite this um, the other way around. So it's 1 plus tan squared x. 1 plus tan squared x, and that's equal to sec squared x there. Okay, and there we have it. That's our proof there, and that gives us the derivation of both of the two new trig identities there. So that brings us to the end of this video on further trig identities. In the next video, we're going to start taking a look at the inverse trig functions.